Hi, this is Dom from iRise. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of iRise Editor. I'll show you around the place and highlight some tools you'll need to get started. So once you've received your login and password information, you'll want to sign into iRise Definition Center. This is where you'll create, store, and manage all your projects. So let's click the top right button to create a new project. And once we do, we'll automatically be dropped into edit mode for that project. On the left, we have the Screens and the Widgets panel. The Screens panel, not coincidentally, is where you'll find all your screens. To create a new screen, you can right-click on a page to duplicate it, or you can click the Add button and choose from a nice set of templates we provide. These templates are contained in iRise libraries, which are broken down into various collections. From there, each collection can be filtered by device type. There are blank pages for each device, there are diagramming templates, and pre-designed content for mobile and even Apple Watch pages. So let's go into the iOS 8 Simulation Kit, or Sim Kit for short, and drop a few iPhone 6 pages into our project. I'll add a home screen and a message page, some segmented controls, and we'll add a search page. Now that we've created a few pages, the next step would be to add and configure your own custom content. We can do that a few ways. First, I'll show you the widgets panel. Now, similar to templates, widgets are also broken down into searchable collections. The basic widgets collection provides various text widgets and buttons and inputs and tables and lots of other useful content. We've also got diagramming collections and of course, mobile content to help customize your prototype. Now getting back to the widgets, another way to add them is using the top toolbar. You can add text or image widgets using this. There are various connectors and shapes you can use for interactive diagramming. You've got form elements, containers, which we'll cover in another video, and hotspots. So as you're creating your pages, you probably want to do two things. You want to format and manage the widgets, and you want to add interactivity. For formatting, you'll find your options by clicking the Format button and then the Style and Settings tabs. Here you'll find all the familiar settings you'd expect, which you can tweak as needed. For managing the widgets, you can use the Outline panel, which you'll find by hitting the Outline button and the Widgets tab. Here you can rename them, it will show you if any of them are grouped, and it will allow you to control their visibility. Now as far as adding interactivity, that's obviously a much larger topic that we'll cover in other videos, but I think if I show you a very simple example, you'll get the idea and be able to run with it. So let's go back to our search page. What I'd like to do here is have the search dialog reveal based on some interactivity. So to start, let's click on the Actions button and show the Actions tab. First thing I want to do is rename that Edit Text Widget to say Search. Now with the Text Widget selected, let's click the Add Action button. This will give us trigger and action options. For the trigger option, we're going to keep click, but as you can see, there are a lot of other triggers you can choose from. And for the action, we want to show the search widget, so we're going to select Show. Click Next, where we can choose the widget that we want this action to affect. We'll select the search group. Now for realism, let's add an effect. I'm going to choose Push, and we want Down to be the show state. So now that we've done that, we want to test drive our page and see how it performs. For this, we'll hit the play button. You'll always use this button when you want to preview the changes you're making while you're editing. So let's simulate and preview this page. Now, although the effect is working, it's not quite right. We don't want the search box to appear before we activate it. So to fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to hide that widget by default. And we can either do that in the outline panel or we can right click. So let's play our page again. And voila. It works. So now I'll show you the last step in this video, which is comments, requirements, and collaboration. Now in the upper left-hand corner of the browser, you'll find icons for showing the page directory, comments, and requirements. So let's add a comment to this page and start a discussion with the rest of the team. If you'd like, you can even associate the comment to a widget. And that's all there is to it. And requirements are created the exact same way.
One last thing I want to show you real quick is email notifications. So if we jump back to the Definition Center page for this project, on the bottom left you'll find a few options for receiving email notifications for comments and requirements, including the option to receive a daily digest. So that's it for this video. Remember that if you ever have any questions, you can click the Help button in iRise to start a conversation with an iRise expert, and they'll respond to you ASAP. You can also utilize the iRise community, where you can share and learn with other iRise users. So thanks for watching, and take care.